the herd consists of say British Friesian, Holstein, New Zealand Cross, combination of a whole lot. Um, the calving starts they start this year on the 18th of January and it should finish on the 5th of April. Uh, to date there's 96% calved. As regards the AI season, uh, the heifers are synchronized uh, fixed time AI uh, to six semen. Uh, last year 70% uh, held to the first service and uh, year, the year before it was 65% of the food return on that. Some of the cows are uh, given sex semen from a natural heat. The cows supply over 6,000 litres on uh, 1.2 tonnes of uh, ration, about 400 kilos higher than the previous year, and uh, most out at 524 kgs of meat solids. Uh, 4.68% fat and 3.72% protein. Um, they were stocked at uh, 2.6 per hectare on the meat and fat farm. So we um, we pick our bulls using the sire advice. Um, so what we're mainly picking on is fat and protein percent. So we'd be looking at bulls that are at least uh, plus 0.25 on protein and plus 0.3 on fat. Um, and it doesn't really matter whether the, the litres are positive or negative. In general, that ends up with negative litres, but we're still ending up with kilos of solids of 30, kilo, of 30 plus. What else we'll be picking bulls on is the maintenance figure. So we'll be trying to have a bull team of um, 18. That's kind of the perfect size of cow for us, which is around the 560, 550 mark. And as well as that, health is probably the next biggest one, um, focusing a lot on high health sub index, so looking at the, the TB, um, not picking any bull that has a, a TB rating of 8 or above. Um, and they're kind of the three main focus areas of our bull selection. So as well as the bull selection, probably um, another area that has a bigger influence now is on cow selection. Um, so we have our, all our herd is genotyped, and that's given us more accurate information on the um, genetic potential of the herd and also the sex semen as well. Um, we've, gotten, uh, we've gotten on quite well with sex semen, which means that we can kind of narrow the pool of cows that we put um, dairy AI onto. Um, so that means we're putting, I suppose, good bulls onto good cows, um, and that results in, I suppose, quicker genetic improvement in on our calves. So this year's calves, um, they have protein of 0 0.21, and fat of 0.33, which is kind of a, we've, we've gained a lot in the last two years with the use of sex semen. Because of sex semen, we have, I suppose, the opportunity to use more beef on the herd. Um, there's over 60% of cows are getting a beef straw, and we use the, uh, the dairy beef index to pick our bulls, so we're still focusing on easy calving, short gestation, but also on carcass weights. Um, to make sure that we're, I suppose, getting improved beef calves from the dairy herd. And we would see it ourselves here because we do finish some animals that um, we're getting better, I suppose, better carcasses and um, shorter finishing time. And that's kind of going against maybe the fact that actually our cows are getting slightly smaller. So by using high CBV animals, we're getting, we're getting those results.